With all the many places to watch videos, YouTube still remains a go-to site for most people. Coming up, I'll show you cool tips and tricks that will help you to get the most out of using YouTube and improve your overall viewing experience. Let's get started. There are many ways now to link to any part of a video. Usually when you get a link to a video, it starts at the beginning. If you want to link to a video to have it start at a specific time, there are three quick ways that I'll show you. First at the top, go to the end of the URL of that video and add the and sign. The letter T is in Tom, then the equal sign. Let's say I want the video to start at the 20 minute, 30 second mark. Just type 20, the letter M is in minute, 30, and S is in second. Then just copy the URL. You could use the keyboard shortcut, which is Control plus C, or right click on it and select copy. Then paste it wherever you need it. An easier way of doing this is to go down to share below the video. Click the empty box before start at, then just change the time. After that, click on copy then paste it wherever you need it. And the third way of doing this is to move the timeline to the part of the video you want the link to start. Right click inside the video, then select copy video URL at current time. As many of you know, the YouTube suggestions on their default homepage are sometimes not very useful or just full of stuff you don't care about. What I've done is change the bookmark I have for YouTube from the home page to the subscriptions page to see more of the content I'm subscribed to. How I did this at the top, at the end of the URL, add a slash, the word feed, another slash, followed by the word subscriptions. With this new URL, you would just need to bookmark it. One aggravation for users over the years has been being able to loop a video, so it keeps repeating. For example, some people like to do this with music videos. It used to be that you had to go to third-party websites to do this. You don't have to anymore. Just right-click inside the video and select loop. Now when the video finishes, it will restart from the beginning. In that same area where I showed you how to loop a video is Stats for Nerds. Right-click inside the video and select Stats for Nerds. You'll get a new mini window showing all sorts of stats, including video ID, current resolution, connection speed, and other stats for you to check out. This next one is similar to the first one I showed you earlier. If you want to skip a certain amount of the beginning of a video and send a link to someone, that is easy too. You can't specify minutes, you can only use seconds. Here's how you do that. Here at the top, at the end of the URL, type the and sign, the word start, the equal sign, and for this one, I'll go with 30 seconds. So just type 30. Now when you copy this video and send the link, for the recipient, the video will start at the 30 second mark. This tip is for YouTube creators. Many of you have asked where I get the music for the videos on this channel. The answer is simple, I get the music from YouTube. With YouTube's audio library being phased out, they have something newer called Creator Music. If you have a channel, you can find it in YouTube Studio here on the left. There are three types of music you can get. Paid is where you can buy songs with full monetization and copyright protection for the terms of the license. I don't recommend this option. When the license expires, you could get a YouTube warning or copyright strike if you don't remove the music from your video. Free is the safest option, which is what most YouTubers use. There is no cost and the music is copyright protected, and you don't have to pay any royalties. And RevShare, as the name suggests, means that you don't have to pay for the music, but will have to share the revenue with the rights holders. If you ever want to speed up or slow down a video, click on Settings below the video, then select Playback Speed. 0.25 is the slowest, with 2 being the fastest, doubling the playback speed. You can also select Custom and drag the slider. Just like Google search, some of those tricks I showed you in an earlier video also work when searching on YouTube. Here's a search I did just using the keywords Apple Vision Pro Fail. The results are okay, but could be a lot better. To have the results, 
show you only those that include all the keywords. In front of your search term, type all in title followed by a colon. Then add a space right before the search term. Then hit enter. And you'll notice the search results are a lot better. If you see a video that you don't have time to watch, you can save it to watch later when you have more time. To do this, below the video, select the menu icon, then click on Save. Check the box next to Watch Later. Close out the window. To find that video or videos that you've saved to watch later, click the menu icon in the upper left corner and in the U section, select Watch Later. Using keyboard shortcuts with YouTube videos can enhance your experience. Here are some of my favorite hotkeys. Touching the K key or space bar will pause and resume a video. The J key rewinds 10 seconds. The L key jumps forward 10 seconds. The zero key will jump to the start of the video. And using the numbered keys one through nine will jump to a percentage of the video. For example, the number one key will jump to 10% of the video. The five key jumps to 50% and the 9 key jumps to 90%. If you own a VR headset, and even if you don't, watching videos in 360 degrees is very cool. To find these videos after doing a search, click on Filters, then in Features, select 360 degrees. Even without a VR headset, you can use your mouse, dragging left and right, to pan around the area. This one might trigger some of you. I hear people complain all the time about YouTube being primarily ad supported. Let me be blunt. YouTube is not a charity, it's a business. The server costs hosting billions of videos and compensating creators for their content is not cheap. So this tip is for those people that do like the content they find on YouTube, but truly hate the ads. It's recommended that they should look into getting YouTube Premium. It includes YouTube and YouTube Music, both of which are ad-free. They do a one-month free trial, after which they have individual, family, and student memberships that start at around $8 per month. Thanks for watching. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. Let me know in the comments if you know of a useful tip or trick that can be used with YouTube. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and click the bell notification icon to not miss out on our latest tips and tricks videos and other tech-related stuff.